this is a call to action. This happened in Florida and people, we need to wake up, stand up, and we need to cry loud. There are too many unalivings, lynchings that are happening. People being found hung and down in Jacksonville, actually in Baldwin, Florida, they're trying to rule everything that happens to this right here, people like this right here, trying to rule it a unaliving of themselves. This is Keandre Taylor. He was working down in Baldwin, Florida at a travel center, Travel Centers of America, Petro down in Baldwin, Florida. He voiced his uh, concerns many times to his family, even tried to reach out to HR regarding the harassment and the racism that he was facing at his job, but nobody was listening at his job. His family was, but at his job, they wasn't, they failed him. Some of the last words that his family heard from him when he, when he wrote them was, I don't wanna be unalived out here, man. In less than 48 hours before his unaliving, Keandre expressed his fear of dying at the hands of racist staff and coworkers. September the 30th this year, Keandre was hung. He was hung. And at the time of his unaliving, his emergency contact was not notified. His family was not notified. He had been unalive for almost 24 hours before his mother, Tawana Richmond Taylor, was even notified. And there are many inconsistencies and untruths that clearly shows that this was not done to himself. Somebody did it to him or somebody, a lot of, uh, it was extra people. This was done to him. He didn't do it to himself. He had bruises. He had knots on his head. He had a swollen eye. And, and, and he was like somebody had actually beat this boy up. He's 31 years old. He has three children that are under 10 years old. And they are the light of his life. And this young man was found hung in a storage shed at his job at the Travel Centers of America in Baldwin, Florida, in his uniform. And the only way that his family found out was it was somebody that he was cool with that called the family, called the mother. Now this may be a procedure, but everybody at his job could identify him. But the police came in and still wanted to fingerprint him. Hmm. The questions that have to be asked, if he committed an unaliving to himself, how did he hit himself in the eye? How did he hit himself in the head? How did he end up with all these bruises? How? This is just like the Yona Lubrin case and many other cases that are happening all in Florida. This stuff is happening in Florida. We need to wake up people. And when you try to search this story, people, TikTok, when you try to search this story, there are no news stories, no articles or anything. It's the family crying aloud. So we need to get this out there. We need to share this, share it far and wide. We need to bring attention to this. Justice for Keandre Taylor.